Yes. Today in our maths lesson, I want us to look at improper fractions. We are going to change improper fractions to mixed numbers. Improper fractions to mixed mix numbers. Up. Can you see that? Yes, ma'am. All right. Now, yesterday, we were looking at improper fractions. When we said, what is an improper fraction? Improper fractions are fractions yes. that you have got whole numbers. Please, let me explain. Let me explain first. I will ask questions so that you will answer. First of all, listen. Let me explain. Right. We say it. Improper fractions were numbers that you have got whole numbers together with fractions. For example, we have three and a half. This three and a half is an improper fraction. Why? Three is a whole number, a half is a fraction. So it is a combination of a whole numbers with. Uh, fractions all right so today we want to change the improper fraction to be a uh, want to change the improper fraction to back to this mixed number and what is an improper fraction we say that an improper fraction is a fraction whereby the numerator is bigger than the denominator. denominator. So I even gave you an example of you not carrying your father, but vice versa, your father carrying you. So in this case, we have got seven halves, whereby seven is carrying two. So if the fraction is like this, it is improper because the seven can carry, cannot carry two, but two can be carried by seven. So if your numerator is bigger than your denominator, the fraction becomes an improper fraction. All right. Are we together yes. in that one? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Right. Now, how do we change a improper fraction, this one, to a mixed number, to go back to this three and a half? We simply divide. Here we put seven over two. We simply say, how many times will two go into seven? Two will go into seven three times. Remainder one. We take that remainder and put it as a fraction over two, which is our denominator there. So in other words, we are saying seven halves as a and seven halves, if this is an improper fraction to a mixed number, it goes back to three and a half. Divide the numerator by the denominator because in this case, the, den the denominator is smaller than the numerator. So divide what remains become your fraction then the whole number is two into seven will go three times that is the whole number remainder one over two so now it is a fraction so the improper fraction has been changed to two a mixed number. All right. Yes, Are we clear on that one? Yes, ma'am. Very good. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Very good. 
let me give you yet another example. And then after that, I will ask you to work examples for me. Another example of an improper fraction being changed to a mixed number. Yeah. Okay, right. Let us, let's say we have 11 over five. Can you see that? We're having 11 over five. 11 is our numerator, which is bigger than our denominator. Our denominator, which is uh, five. So this one is improper. We want to take the pattern from 11 because uh, five is smaller from five. Then we want to take the pattern away from five by easing this pattern, by changing uh, this improper fraction to a mixed number. Let me explain first, please. I will ask you questions. Listen while I explain. Then I will give you time to answer questions. Okay. Right. Now we are saying 5 into 11 will go two times. That is a whole number. So we are going to write that two is a whole number. But five into 11 goes two times, remainder one. So that one becomes a fraction. So much that we are saying uh, 11 over five is equal to as a mixed number is two and a half because five into 11 goes two times remainder one over two, which becomes two and a half. So they will got a mixed number. When at first we have an improper fraction, this improper fraction changed to a mixed number, it becomes two and a half. Okay. Yes. Right. Now, may you uh, tell me the answer 18 over 7. Work out that sum. If you have got the answer, lift up your hand. 18 over 7 as a mixed number. Quickly work out the sum. We've got 18 over 7 is an improper fraction. What answer do we get as a mixed number? 18 over 7. Here yeah. is our improper change it to a mixed number. What answer do we get? Hmm? What answer, how do we get this one, change it to an improper, change the improper to a mixed number? Yes, Bethel. One host over seven. Okay. One host over seven. Yes, we have the answer is one and six sevens. The answer is one and six sevens. Because you divide seven into eighteen will go once. Remainder six over seven. Are we? Can we see that? Yes. yes. 
Let me see those who got this answer. Brave, what answer did you get? You got it, Tawana, very good. Luanda, did you get it? Yes, ma'am. Very good. Bethel, you got it. Brave, did you get this answer? Yes, ma'am. Very good. Uriel, we are changing improper fraction to a mixed number. Uriel, you just joined us. Then we are yes, saying we divide. Seven into 13, it goes one. Remainder six, that remainder becomes a fraction. Where is Uriel now? Now it becomes a fraction. Right, today I am going to give you example sums whereby you are changing improper fractions to mixed numbers. All right, let us just make a few. Please be still, Uriel. Now we are hearing that noise. Please. Right. May you please work out this one, 47 over 9. Work it out there, 47 over 9. Change 47 over 9, brave. Number 2, 22 over seven and then number three nine over five i want you to work out these uh sums there now these sums Okay, number one, 47 over nine. Number two, 22 over seven. Have you worked the three of them, Uriel? Three of them. And then number three, nine over five. These are the sums I want you to wait to wait now. If you have got them, please show by lifting up your your hand. If you got one, any of them. Wait to Melo, are you in? Right, if you have got any of them, please. Show by lifting up your hand. Yes, Tawana. Number, which number? Number one. Number one. Number one. Yes. Number one. one. Mm -hmm. It is five, five over two over nine. Is she saying number one is five? five. Remainder? Hmm? Two of two over nine. Over nine. nine. Are we agreeable on this one? Tawana is saying number one yes, is five and two nines. Yes, Did you yes, get that, yes. Yes. yes, Very good. Yes, Melvin, you got this? Yes, yes ma'am. Uriel, you also got this for number one? Yes, ma'am. Very good. Point to Melo. Right, now let's see number two, who has done number two, Uriel, 
Uriel, number two, what answer? The answer is one over seven. Number two, this one, 22 over seven. This one. Answer is, is one. Who got number two? Let's hear this one. 22, the number two. 22 over seven. Yes, sir. Who has got the answer? Luanda, tell us the answer. Luanda. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Bethel. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's listen. Bethel. Three and one sevens. The answer is three and one sevens. Yes. Did you get this? Yes, yes. Very good. Very good. Then the last one, nine fifths. Nine fifths. What answer? Yes, Uriel. One remainder four fifths. Very good. We say one and four fifths. Okay. Yes. We say our answer is, let's check this. Our answer is one and four fifths. So there's no, we have to work out many sums where we are changing improper fractions to mixed numbers. All right. Is Poitumelo here? Yes, ma'am. Very good. You were striking yes, to join us. But you understood, Poitumelo, how we change uh, improper fractions to mix the numbers. You understood that? Oh, ma'am. Poitumelo? Yes. You found us when we had started. Can you hear me, Poitumelo? Yes, ma'am. I am asking, please talk to me, Poitumelo. If you understood how we get these sums, how we work them. No, ma'am. You did not understand? Yes, ma'am. Poitumelo, please talk. Teacher, I came just now. You just you came just now. Uh, who wants to explain to Poitumelo how we changed the improper to mixed? Who can explain to her? Who wants to explain? Is there anyone who wants to explain to her? Tawana, please explain how do we change improper to a mixed number. Tawana? You, 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 you divide nine into 47, which is, which is five remainder two, and you put the nine under two. Okay. And then what which about is the two? Yes, teacher. And, and the, your answer will be five remainder two nine. Yes, very good. You divide by two yes. This is an improper fraction. Twenty-two is bigger than seven. So you are saying how many times will seven go into twenty-two? Seven into twenty-two will go uh, three times. Then remainder one so that one will be over seven so our answer becomes three and one sevens is that clear yes ma'am yes. yes. is that clear boy to me we are doing this for you who just came in 
Boy to Melo? Yes, Is that clear now? Yes, ma'am. Ah, all right. So I am going to give you some work. Please write your work, send it under homework, where our topic will be was Im change improper fraction to mixed numbers. Right. So I again I want you to just look out and look in. We are continuing look out and look in. All right. Bye for now. Don't go away. Teacher. Look. Teacher. Hello. Yes. How many lessons today? What? We have how many lessons today? May you please log out, Bethel, and log in for another lesson now, now. You don't go anywhere. Just log out, log in for another.